and make disciples of all nations. Preach the gospel to all creation. Repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his, Jesus' name. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And then last but not least, you will be my witnesses to the end. Welcome on Freedom Church. We're free people. Free people. <laughs> Say, Father, Father, bless the word today. Bless our pastor today. Bless us today to receive the word of God. And I'm challenging you today, if you're not saved, let us get saved today. If you don't know Jesus as your personal savior, and I'm not talking about going to church because we got a lot of folks going to church. But it's time for us to be the church when we leave the church so the world can see the church. Amen, somebody. I asked God for a unique message, and once again, he has given it to me, and the title may throw you off, but I promise you, it's not what it sounds like. The title of the day is, Because of Jesus, I Get Paid. Hmm. Say with me, because of Jesus, I get paid. Now look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, keep your receipts. <laughs> Father God, as we jump into this word, I ask for one thing, that you will give me hearts and minds that are receptive to your word today. I bind every demon and every devil that's been working overtime to try to distract and destroy this service. We press forward in the mighty name of Jesus because the day is a day of victory. Amen. 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 And amen. I say it again, we've all been bamboozled by religion. And we've definitely been hoodwinked by Hollywood. Because now everybody's rushing for power. Social media has become a platform for power. Look at me and look at how well I'm doing and look at me, I'm bossing and I'm living my best life. And at the same time, when those cameras are turned off, there's a whole lot of fakery in the bakery on social media. But it feels good when folks like your pictures and it feels good when folk comment about how good you look. But I'm telling you, I'm not pursuing power before I die. I don't care nothing about political power, and I'm so sick of the political issues that we have in this country. I am sick to the point where I am tired of Christians being divided, whether or not you're a Democratic or a Republican. At the end of the day, Jesus is where we meet one another and where we love one another. Anybody tired other than me? And what I love about Jesus, Jesus takes a whole different path. He pursues the power that most of us spend our whole lives trying to avoid. Somebody say, Pastor, what kind of power is that? I call it the path that is the paid path. Just say that with me, the paid path. Say, Pastor, what is the paid path? Please catch this. The paid path, Mother Oliver, is a path that's paid by love. And y'all don't know nothing about love. Y'all swear y'all do, but y'all really don't. Because when you tell you something about the love of God, the love of God doesn't keep score. The love of God forgives. The love of God will give you chance after chance after chance. The love of God sent, oh, y'all don't hear me today, sent the Savior to die for us while we were yet sinners with no guarantee that we would ever become saints. That's love. And that's the path that Jesus pursued. I love John 3 and 16. I know it's old, but it never gets old to me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. <laughs> that whoever, somebody say whoever, whoever, believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I don't know about you, but I want that everlasting life, guys. I got to have that everlasting life. I'm telling you, it is my dream, my desire to stand before God and hear these words. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care whether or not you like me. If I can hear those words from God on that great day, everything I went through will be worth it to hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. But he can't say good and faithful if you hadn't been good and faithful. He'll have to say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I'm talking about that paid path, and I need to tell you something. If you want to be a follower of Christ, then you're going to have to go the way Jesus went. The problem with this path is, though, you have to allow people to overlook it. Oh, I ain't got nobody to know what I'm talking about. The problem with this path is you got to let people misuse you. 
I struggle with that a little bit. The problem with this path, Gina, is sometimes you have to let people abuse you and hold your seat. Sometimes you have to let people betray you. I have mad respect for Jesus because I don't know how he walked with Judas, broke bread with Judas, sat by the fire with Judas. Shared the good news with Judas. And the whole time he knew that Judas was going to betray him. That's a different kind of path, y'all. Y'all know how hard it is once you figure out folk don't like you and they're not trustworthy. It's hard for some of y'all to fake it. Can I get a church? It's hard for me to fake it. Now I have to work on it sometimes. Be like, man, please. But if Jesus said, if you want to follow me, you got to follow this path. I said, God, why should I follow this path? And I heard these words in my study. He said, Follow this paid path because this is where true power really is. Somebody say, that's where the true power really is. If I can go back to Matthew 26 and 27 and 66, it says, so they went and made the tomb secure. I'm going to show you what this, what this path looks like. I want to show you some power. They did what? They made the tomb. How they did that, Pastor? Sealing the stone and setting the guard. Can I teach this for a few minutes? See, they rejected Jesus as the Messiah because he came humbly. He did not come on a horse. He did not come trying to usurp authority. He simply walked the path that the Father had set before him. And it was hard for them to believe that he was the Messiah because he didn't try to force his way. Amen, somebody? Some of y'all waste too much time trying to force your way with people. Learn, let the chips fall where they may. Love the people that love you and the ones that don't. Kick the dust off your feet. Jesus wasn't trying to pressure nobody into believing him. So when he told these folks, he said, I know y'all don't believe me. I know y'all tripping. Oh, y'all going to crucify me? This is what we're doing? Oh, you're going to spit on me? This is what we're doing? You're going to put the crown of thorns on my head? This is what we're doing? Oh, you're going you gonna to jam me like that? Oh, this is what we're doing? Okay, peep this, peep this. In three days, after you've done all you can do to me, write this down. In three days. One, two, three. Three days. I'm going to get up. Now, here's what's crazy, guys. They didn't want to believe he was the Savior, but they must have believed something because they sealed the tomb. I wish I had a church. Okay, let me break it down for those that, that may be struggling. When, when it talks about sealing the tomb, they literally took mud and water and made what we would call modern-day cement. Modern day mortar that holds bricks together. They spent some time getting some mud, mixing some water, and they say, we know he ain't the savior, but he had the nerve to tell us he was going to come back. This is how stupid they was. They thought some mud was going to keep the Messiah from coming. See, that's, that's how you know you're stupid, amen. They thought some mud was going to keep the Messiah from coming back. So they rolled the stone, number one, that's security. They put the stone in front of the tomb, they said, so that nobody could steal the body. They said, we know what y'all going to do. Y'all going to try to steal the body, try to make sure he rolled from the dead, and he's going to steal the body, and ain't nobody going to see him, and y'all going to try to make that, uh-uh, told y'all he was Jesus. So they're like, okay, okay, gang, gang, here we go. Here we go. Roll that stone right there in front of the bad boy. What else can we do to secure this thing? Okay, okay. Hey, hey, let's put some, let's put some cement, some mud. Let's seal it up. So when the sun, y'all ain't ready for my teaching. When the sun sets on the mud, the mud is set. Yeah. When the S-U-N sets on the M-U-D, the M-U-D is S-C-T. What they didn't know is that the S-U-N that was shining was made by the S-O-N that was it. Play with it if you want to. So they're like, oh, let's seal this up, let's seal this up, let's seal this up. Let's let it dry. Okay, it's dry. Okay, what else can we do? Hey, hey, let's put some soldiers. Soldier boy, tell them. They put some soldiers. Soldier boy was the first one at the tomb. They put some soldiers at the tomb to make sure nobody stole the body and to make sure that he did not come out. Bible says they did all of that in Matthew 27, 26. But then I had to cha-cha slide the first Corinthians 15 chapter. I just like my Bible. The Apostle Paul visits the Corinthian church for the first time after the resurrection of Jesus. And I'm amazed because he could have said anything to them. But, but can we peep what he said to them? After Christ rose from the dead. 
the Apostle Paul talks to the folks in Corinth. He says, watch verse 3. For I deliver to you, first of all, that which I have received. See, that's the problem with some of y'all. You trying to give folks something you haven't received yet. Amen, somebody? You trying to tell folks about God, but God ain't really, come on, God ain't really your thing. Amen. Paul says, listen, I'm not going to fake with y'all. I'm going to give you what I first received. That Christ died. I was there. I saw him. He died for our sins. According to scripture. Woo, somebody hold my mule because I'm about to get crazy. Not only did he die, but he was burned. That's how they say it in Dooley. Burned. Not only was he burned, but he rose again on the according to, and that he was seen by Cephas. You know that's a black man. Amen, somebody? Ain't nobody white named Cephas. Amen, somebody? That's a black man. He was seen by Cephas. Not only was he seen by dude Cephas, but he was seen by the twelve. Wait a minute. How was he seen by the twelve when Judas hung himself? I wish y'all read your Bible a little bit. Come on, folks. Judas hung himself. That would make 11, right? Here's how powerful the ministry of Jesus was. When Judas hung himself, there was somebody ready to step in and fit. Please, Pastor Troy. I stopped by to tell somebody, you walking around here like the church can't go without you, like God can't move without you. You're going to mess around and lose your spot. The Bible said, if you don't praise God, the rocks will cry out for him. I'm not going to let nobody take my place in the kingdom. Judas fell off. Another one stepped in. They were still rocking with 12. And Jesus Stop by him to make sure the 12 saw him. It gets better. I hope y'all like the word because it gets better. And after he was seen, see, I don't know how y'all sit there. After he was seen by five people, by 50 people, Bible says Jesus is flexing and y'all don't even see him. The Bible says Jesus allowed himself to be seen by over 500 brothers. Watch this. At once. Not no one by one so people can lie. Jesus said, here I go. Everybody look at, ain't that Jesus? Yeah, it's me. You tried to kill me, but God has brought me back from the dead. Over 500 people saw him at the same time. And after that, he was seen by James. Then by all the apostles. And then last of all, he was seen by me also. I just got a question for those of you that are still with me. Brother Green, how in the world is it that he died and it was verified? only to get up three days later and walk around and flex on them for 40 days. See, some of y'all don't read your Bible. Jesus didn't just rise from the dead and get up out of here. Jesus rose from the dead and spent 40 days making sure people saw that he was alive. Let me tell you something. We serve a Savior that is too legit to quit. We serve a Savior that if he said it, you can put your money on it. If he said it, you can put your life on it. 40 days! Jesus is walking around ministering and teaching the disciples. I said, Jesus, how did you do this thing? And I can hear him in my study. He said, Pastor Troy, uh, tell Freedom Church I did it because I got paid. I'm almost done, so you might want to get with me. I said, I said, what you say? You sure? He said, yeah, 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 yeah. You tell your people I was able to do what I did because I got paid. I was like, wait, 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 what, what you mean you got paid, Jesus? Did, did you get some money? He's like, this ain't about money. Uh, did you get some stocks? It ain't about stocks. I said, but Jesus, how did you get paid? He said, look at the word paid, son. He said, spell it out. I say, P, A, I, D. He said, tell them folk down there and want to rob me. Jordan, when I tell you I got paid, I got power after I died. I wish I had church. I'm finna go. You can play with your kids, amen. I'm not the one to play with, amen, somebody. He say, Eric, tell them, I got paid, homie. I got power after I died. You trying to get power before you die. You better make sure you got power after you die, because if you don't, you will not get up and see Jesus. Let me clap for myself, because some of y'all still waiting on some. Somebody say, Jesus got paid. Like lemonade. Sipping in the shade. All right, let's go. Matthew 28 and 18, Jesus came and spake unto them. Here's what Jesus said. All power. No, nah, you don't hear me, though. All power. No, 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 not some power. All power 
is given to me. Where that though? In heaven and in earth. And you think the devil can beat you if you're a follower of Christ? It's time for you to wake up and recognize if Jesus is in you and you in Jesus, ain't nothing in heaven and ain't nothing on earth can stop you. Because even after you die, you're going to get up with some power if you get paid, 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 paid power after I die. Is what I'm looking for. Somebody say, I need to get paid, Pastor. Some of y'all got to stand up and say, yeah, devil, you tried it, but God denied it. I'm about to get paid. Amen, somebody. Some of y'all have had a hard year this year, but you know why you're still standing? Because you're getting paid, baby. Amen, somebody. I'm not going through what I'm going through for nothing. I'm about to get paid, and I'm going to keep my receipts. I wish I had them. Anybody got some receipts? Anybody done cried? Anybody thought you wasn't going to make it? Baby, you better keep your receipts, because we're about to get paid. And the Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And I know y'all ready to hide them eggs and put some salt and pepper on them. But I need to tell you something. This day, it's about giving. Amen, somebody? Everybody want to receive but a real mark of a follower of Christ is you don't mind giving back to God because God then gave you everything he had to give. I don't mind giving to God. The devil tried to kill me, but God kept me. How you do that, Pastor? Man, I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid for all the haters. Come on, somebody. You getting paid for every test you pass, amen, somebody? You getting paid for all the lies they telling on you right now? See, you don't know, but God is putting it in your bank account, amen? And your bank account has got to be your thank account. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That's how you get a withdrawal. When you use your thank account, it gets out the bank account and you get the... Y'all ain't ready. Tell your neighbor I'm about to get paid. Look at your neighbor say, you getting paid or you getting played? Ah! See, if you ain't saved, if you ain't saved, if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, then I'm going to make some of you mad. Let me tell you this. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Don't let Oprah lie to you. Don't let the world lie to you. You can't get to God without Jesus. Ah, oh, I know they told you there was many ways. Use a lie. Ain't but one way to God, and his name is Jesus. You're going to mess around and go to hell. Because they told you there was many ways. Use a lie. That's like saying in many ways to go to Atlanta. Do you know? <laughs> if you go south, <laughs> and you keep going south, I need to tell you so. <laughs> you is not going to make it to Atlanta. Amen, somebody? And I said it that way because that's the country in me. Now let me act like I got some education. You are not going to make it to Atlanta. And some of you think you're going to heaven, going south. Use a lie. You got to go north. You got to go up. You got to lift your eyes to the hills from which cometh your help. For your help come from them. That's why I got to die in Christ. Why? Because I'm trying to get paid. I ain't crying for nothing. I ain't dealing with you knuckleheads for nothing. No, he didn't do that. Yeah, he did. Y'all are a rough bunch sometimes to deal with. Look how you looking at me. Anytime you try to lead people, they love you as long as you tell them what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. But my Bible say God chastised the people that he loved. When the last time God whipped you? If God ain't whipping you, how you know God love you, amen? And some of you can do anything you want to do. I thank God when I do wrong, I feel convicted. I thank God when I step to the left, God says, son, that's not the way to go. I thank God I can't do whatever I want to do and feel good about it. And if that's you, you better repent today and reconnect your heart with the almighty God because he chastises those that he loves. Somebody say, chastise me, God. Tell your neighbor, you got to die. Don't be scared of them. They can't beat both of us. Tell them you got to die. 
Say, Pastor, I don't want to die. You got to die. So a seed fall to the earth and die. It shall not produce a harvest. And I'm not talking about physical death, but some of y'all got to die to your doggone self today. You ain't going to clap because you think you all that in a bag of chips. I'm messing around and got you some red bottoms and now you swear you somebody. Honey, please sit down somewhere. I don't care how much money you make. If you don't know Jesus, you ain't worth a dime in here. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. If you don't know Jesus, you are nobody. If you don't know Jesus, you are nothing. And let me clarify this. You don't have to be married to be somebody. You just got to know Jesus to be somebody. You ain't got to be fine to be somebody. You just got to know Jesus to be somebody. You ain't got to be pretty to be somebody. You just got to know. I dare somebody stand up and say, I am somebody. Because I know somebody who is somebody. And his name is Jesus. You got to die to yourself. You got to die to your fears. Stop being afraid of what God said you can do and be. And stop looking for public approval. Most folks can't stand you because they see the greatness in you before you become great. Somebody said, I got to die to doubt. How you going to believe in God and you don't believe in yourself? It's an oxymoron. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Through Christ I can do all things. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ. Who counted not robbery that counted himself equal with God. I am somebody. I do not have the audacity to doubt Anthony Troy Wynn Sr. Because if God believed in me, who am I not to believe in me? Most of y'all would have gave up on me a long time ago. Most of you gave up when you thought you heard something. Stinking self. Most of you gave up on somebody when you thought you saw something. But I'm going to forever preach in this church. Y'all better stop it. You better stop worrying about what other folks are doing and sweep around your own dog. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of y'all acting like you are the Holy Ghost police. You ain't got no badge, so sit your butt down somewhere and make sure your life is in order. I'm not judging everybody's fruit. And Bible says, you know, a tree by fruit bad. Yeah, we looking at you at the same time. Somebody say he's preaching about getting paid. That's power after I die. Why the enemy don't want you to die in Christ? When you die in Christ, y'all got to catch this. You got a gospel guarantee. What do you mean, Pastor? The Bible says that those that die in Christ, this is how, this is how I, I, I see this thing. The Bible says that we shall, y'all ain't ready for this. The Bible says we shall be the first to arise. Those that remain shall be changed in the moment and a twinkling of an eye. Amen, somebody? God love us so much. That when he comes back, he coming back to get us. Amen, somebody. And I know you ain't heard about the rapture in a long time, but I just want to tell somebody, Jesus is coming back, baby. You ain't got to believe it, but just write it down and I told you, Jesus coming back on the cloud, amen, and every eye going to see him. Ain't that what the Bible say? Every eye going to see him, and you going to wish to God you have gave God your life. Give him praise if you got it. Keep your praise if you don't. Because of Jesus, huh. I get paid. Keep your receipts. Some of y'all have cried many tears this year. Some of you are going through a season now where, where, where friends and close people suspiciously are starting to fall away. Speak Holy Ghost. And you keep asking yourself, did I, did I do something? Is it something I said? And I just stopped by to tell a hundred of y'all, it ain't nothing you've done. It's what you're about to do. Amen, somebody? <laughs> See, the devil knows at some point he might as well turn you loose because you've been through hell and high water and you still got a praise on your lips. 
You've been through hell and high water and you still press your way through these doors to give God praise and worship. And some of y'all, the devil's about to say, you know what? Let me go on and bother somebody else because ain't nothing I've done discouraged you. Ain't nothing I've done made you throw in the towel. Ain't nothing I've done made you give up. You out here trying to get paid. Hey, Amen, somebody. I got to get paid. I got to go. Y'all been a great audience. Amen.